Hi guys, welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. It's Becky here. We're not at home again today. It's too loud, there's loads of drilling, banging going on. Uh, instead, we've come to my parents' house to do this, but it's nice and quiet. Um, yeah, and they're probably not gonna know we've been here until they watch this, so hi. <laughs> we're in the house. We're in your house. <laughs> now today, I'm showing you how to make some amazing hidden heart cupcakes, perfect for Valentine's Day. Now, if you want to give these cupcakes a go, you'll find the full method and list of ingredients over on myvirginkitchen.com. But the first thing we're going to do today is to make our red sponge for the hidden hearts inside the cupcakes. So grab yourself a mixing bowl and you're going to beat together the butter and sugar till it's really nice um, and fluffy and pale in colour. Next, crack in your eggs one at a time and then give it a good mix together till it's all combined. Then you're going to gently fold in your flour. And then you want to add in your red food colouring. So you can add in as much or as little as you like here, depending on what colour you want your hearts. If you want them a bright red or if you want them a pinky kind of light red colour, that's absolutely fine. It's up to you. Give this a good mix together to the all combined. And then you're just going to pour this batter into a greased and lined 8 inch Victoria sandwich tin. You're then going to bake this in the oven for about 15 minutes. And when it's done, don't worry if, it, if you get it out and it looks a little bit undercooked because these are, this sponge is going to get cooked again in the cupcake cases. Transfer this sponge to a wire rack to cool down completely and then you're going to put it onto a flat surface so like a chopping board and find a heart shaped cup, couple cutter. We found it like quite a heart shaped couple. couple heart shaped couple. <laughs> is that a Valentine's Day? Yeah, thing? that's a Valentine's Day pun right there. <laughs> now grab yourself a small heart shaped cutter. We had one about, yeah, we found one in our cookie cutter drawer, we had loads. Um, and then you're just gonna um, push it into the red sponge, work your way around the edge, try and get as much sponge usage as you can. Um, and yeah, gently pull out a heart shape and set them to one side. I then made a vanilla cake batter. I did this exactly the same way as I did the red cake batter, but obviously didn't add any red food colouring. But I did add some baking powder, some vanilla essence, and also a drop of milk because my mixture felt quite stiff. Then you're going to grab yourself a muffin tin, line it with some muffin cases and spoon a small amount of your vanilla cake batter into the bottom of each cupcake case. You're then going to gently push in your heart shaped cakes into the batter. Now don't let it touch the bottom of the cake cases, you just want it to gently sit into the batter. Now at this point, Barry and I did get a bit worried. We looked at the heart shaped sponges and we realised they were a little bit too big. A heart was too big? <laughs> it was just too big. But if you seen us on our vlog or on snapchat you'll know that we carried on we just kept going we then poured in our vanilla cake batter so that it was surrounding the heart just so it came up level with the heart in the cake case we then baked these in the oven for 20 minutes and when they came out of the oven they looked humongous <laughs> <laughs> they were huge we're like oh no we can't we have to stop the video. yeah we stopped and at this point we thought this isn't going to work we need we need to stop right there but Barry came to the rescue. He said, let's just cut it in half. So we cut one cake in half, and as if by magic, there was a perfect heart shape inside the cupcake. We were amazed, weren't we? Yeah, it we, were... it, we managed to bodge it and pull it off. <laughs> we were really surprised. So we thought, no, we'll carry on. We'll cover the tops with icing and everything will be all right. So that is what we did. While our cupcakes were cooling down, we made our buttercream in a bowl. I beat together some room temperature butter till it was nice and pale in colour and then gradually added in a few spoonfuls of icing sugar at a time and then gave it a good mix together until we got the right consistency and all the icing sugar was used up. We then added a few drops of food colouring, we decided to go for pink, a nice pale pink, just a few drops and gave it a good mix together. We transferred this to, into a piping bag and added a generous amount of piped icing on top and then finished with a handful of sprinkles. And I have to say, they looked amazing. We were a bit worried. We got the cake all decorated and looking nice and we went to cut it in half. We thought, yeah, which half? Yeah. We, <laughs> what happens if we cut it the wrong way? The heart's not gonna look the right way. But luckily, we, we were so lucky. We just guessed it and yeah, we got the heart the right way and they looked amazing. So remember, if you need some Valentine's Day inspiration, there's loads of recipes over on myvirginkitchen.com and I'm also writing a blog post at the moment all to do with Valentine's Day, so that should be up soon. And if you do give these a go, please send us your pictures. We'd love to see how they turned out and follow us on all social media and I'll see you again next time.